Today I'm showing you Lumina Launcher, which is a brand new all-in-one launcher for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. To get this, you want to head over to projectlumina.org. This is going to be linked down in the description below, together actually with my Discord server where you can find many more things just like this. Anyways, here over on their official website, you want to click on this red installations button, which will bring you to this downloads page right over here. You want to find the Lumina launcher and then click on the purple button. Now, sadly, these guys do use Link for Ties, which, you know, I can't blame them completely. To be fair, you gotta pay the bills somehow, right? Anyways, if you get um, the Get Access in 59 Minutes uh, one, where you have to wait an entire hour for the download, I recommend looking up a online Link for Ties bypasser, which I will link one of down in the description below. Here is a public Casper Sky scan, by the way. And here I have the Lumina Launcher. Uh, as you can see, I'm currently on the home screen, which is also leaking my full name. So, alright. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is the launcher right here. I'm going to be walking through everything that this has to offer, which, trust me, is quite a lot. So starting off with the option, obviously, to just simply play Minecraft right over here. It usefully... Uh, shows your current Minecraft version down there as well. If you're not happy with that, well, you're in luck because this also has a full version switcher. As you can see, I can press on this button to switch my Minecraft version. I'm currently using 1.21.50, which is one of the latest Minecraft versions, uh, and I'm fine with using that. But as you can see, we have the option to install, like, literally more than 100 different versions, probably. Maybe not. Oh well, who cares? All the versions you'll ever need, all the way down to 1.12. As you can see, this can be useful um, when trying to join outdated servers, use outdated clients, all of the like. Of course, you can install as many versions as you want, and then of course, seamlessly switch back to other installed versions as well. Anyways, for the rest, uh, you can find their Discord server over here if you're experiencing issues, or of course, you can also ask down in the comments below. Anyways, moving on to this modules area over here, this allows you to upload mods directly into the Lumina launcher, basically removing the need for an injector. As I said, this is basically an all-in-one launcher, when if you have Lumina, you really don't need anything else. As you can see, there's an option right here to paste in a URL and to upload uh, a DLL file or the like right from the web, um, but there's also a plus button over here where I can select uh, these ones locally. Let's see. Maybe I'll go with a uh, Nuvola right over here. As you can see, I have the DLL file. We can select this and we can actually choose to set this as our default, meaning that every single time I launch Minecraft, this is automatically going to be injected and I will never need to worry about doing that again, really. Right, um, of course, you can also edit it or manage it in any other way using the buttons down here. For the rest, uh, we can move on to this utilities area, which contains utilities like a vSync toggler, as well as custom personas. This does also have a shaders installer, which allows really easy installing of shaders, which I don't currently have any, but trust me, it does work. And then there is also a profiles manager over here. What the profiles manager allows you to do is to actually uh, save stuff like worlds and texture packs to a profile so that if you launch, for example, a new version of Minecraft, that all your worlds and texture packs and the like will already be applied. Talking about texture packs, right over here, there's a drag and drop texture pack plus behavior pack and whatever else uploader so you don't need to find the folder you don't need to launch minecraft to do this you can simply drag and drop them right in this location or simply press on this button to open up your pack folder moving down once again there is also a built-in music player where you can add local music or uh, enter in a youtube uh, url which is incredibly useful really nice feature i don't think i've ever seen a minecraft bedrock edition launcher with this feature before so that's definitely quite nice. Anyways, moving down, once again, there is a, a general, you know, your computer area right over here where you can view your CPU, GPU, as well as other information too, um, including your IP address, which I'm not going to show you mine. <laughs> and uh, then finally down in the bottom over here, this has a whole personalization menu, as you can see. That just allows you to manage the way the client looks. Currently, I'm using the default um, visuals, I suppose, but you can really change that to anything you want. 
There's a general settings area right over here too. For the rest, it does also have Discord rich presence as well as some different launch options, um, including injection delay as well as accelerate loading time. Now, hmm, I'm not sure what accelerate loading time does. Well, that's not an issue because you can simply click on this button right over here and that's going to tell you exactly what it does, which is obviously really useful too. Anyways, finally, once you've set everything to how you want it to be, you can simply press on play and enjoy Minecraft. For the rest, that was basically that uh, for right now. Thank you ever so much for watching and I do of course hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.